Doyle Lawson has been performing professionally since 1963, and he's put out almost 40 albums with his band, Quicksilver. After so many projects, he always manages to keep things fresh and exciting for his fans. Kelly Lynn caught up with Doyle at a special release party for his latest project, Roads Well Traveled. Ladies and gentlemen, make welcome Doyle Lawson and Quicksilver. <laughs> I'm here with Doyle Lawson, the newest member of the International Bluegrass Hall of Fame. What an Hello. honor. How are you? I'm wonderful. How are you, Kelly? I'm so good. It's great to be here today. Thank now, you. You guys have a new project. We do. Doyle Lawson yeah. and Quicksilver. Hot off the press. Hot off the press. Be careful. It might burn your hand. It's so fresh. That's you know? good. <laughs> it is so fresh. And people are going to come out today. Tell us a little bit about what's going to happen. Well, we're going to come out and talk to folks like you, of course. And... Uh, then uh, mix and mingle, visit a little bit, and then we're going to slip back here and uh, oh, play four, five, six maybe, depending on how wound up I get, do some new material from the, uh, the uh, new CD. Now, you've had over 40 albums come out, so this being one of those, I guess this would be maybe 41st, have we lost count? Or? Well, I've had actually with my group since uh, 79, and I've had my own group. That's number 38. 38. But now I was in the business. I started in 63 uh, playing music professionally. So uh, there's more, a lot more albums than that, or CD than that. But 38 with my band. Wow. And so how does this album, tell me a little bit about what makes this one unique and the songs on it and how it stands out. I, I guess usually the newer the music and the more fresh, the more excited artists are about it. Is that the case in this situation? Well, I'm always, I'm always excited about anything that I record because if I wasn't excited, I wouldn't record it to begin with. You know. you but this one here uh, is special to me. I, I don't know. I like, I like stories or songs that have a story. And certainly this one is chock full of, of stories. Uh, stories of uh, never-ending loves between a man and a woman, which I'm partial to, you know, and uh, uh, some a little less uh, intense. Uh, got a song about a dope role player named Joe on there, and uh, uh, got a song about uh, Fiddling Will, as well as some of the more serious side of uh, One Small Miracle, that's the Bill Anderson and Steve Warner song, uh, and uh, Say Hello to Heaven, which is a great, great song. Uh, when love is all you want. How do you say goodbye to 60 years? We opened it up with a song that been laying around for a while, but was recorded back some time back by uh, Lee Greenwood, uh, Dixie Road. Oh, yeah. And I wanted, I thought that's a perfect opener for the CD. You know, I'm very proud of it. Please don't you have just one small miracle. From the time I was five years old, I knew I wanted to play this kind of music. Uh, Bill Monroe, of course, is the father of, we recognize as the father of bluegrass, and I heard him on the Grand Ole Opry. I was just a little fella. My mother told me who it was, and, and I said, that's what I want to do. Well, I, I met uh, a, a man named Jimmy Martin, who was, was known as the king of bluegrass uh, when I was 14, and uh, four years later, I went to work with him. I never, uh, in the early days, all I wanted to do was be on stage with a band playing this kind of music. And uh, I never thought about ever, at that time, being a, a leader of a group or whatever. I just wanted to play music. Uh, then as you mature as a person, and an adult, and you mature as a musician, then these things start to come to you that, well, you know, you, I'd like to do this. I'd always gone where that the, the, uh, the style was already set. You know, Jimmy Martin had his style. and. Uh, I went to J.D. Crow, and then I went to the country gentlemen who had their style, and they all had that individual. And I thought, it would really be neat for me to go in from the ground floor up and do what I want to do. Not taking anything away from the other people, but I, I just had things that I wanted to do without having to get approval. And, uh, uh, you know, I've been, I've been a part of a partnership, and, you know, when you have a partnership, 
you win a few battles, you lose a few, and I, I never liked to lose the part. I like <laughs> so, the winning part. I like the winning part, and I, I thought, well, okay, I'll make a decision, and if if I if I miss on this one, then I've got nobody to blame but myself, you know. There but you uh, well, it's worked out for you. Well, it seems like it has. Yeah, it has, and it is still working. What a wonderful project this is! We're Thank so you. thrilled to get to be here today, and you guys make sure you get Rose well traveled. We look forward to more from Dole Lawson and all those roads you're going to travel. Thank you. Thank Kevin. you. After all those years of touring, those roads certainly are well-traveled for Doyle Lawson and Quicksilver. We had to take another quick little break, but there's still lots more music up ahead. We'll sit down with one of the hottest songwriters in Nashville to learn about the industry when we come back. Don't go away.